Okay, so for the chicken curry, we have got one kg of thigh fillets. This is skinless and boneless. I'm gonna just chop the fat off it and cut it into small pieces. We've got a tin of tomatoes, so just some chopped tomatoes. I've got three onions, so three medium onions is fine. We've got some chilies, and then we the only spices we're gonna use is salt, turmeric, and we're gonna use some garam masala and I'll let you know the quantities once they are going in. So I've just got some olive oil in a pan and you just need enough to fry the onions and I forgot to mention, you're just gonna need some cumin seeds, about a tablespoon. So once the oil gets a little bit hot, you can add in your cumin seeds and give them about a minute and then we're gonna go in with onions which have been finely chopped in the food processor. Okay, I've just added in the onions now to the cumin seeds and oil and just make sure you've got enough oil so they can fry and we're just going to fry these until they're like a golden brown and that's going to take about six or seven minutes and you can put the lid on but just make sure you keep stirring in between so they don't stick and in the meantime add in your tomatoes to the food processor in the same thing so the whole tin and just going to whiz that up until they are blitzed Okay, so if your onions feel like they're sort of sticking or they're burning a little bit, then you just want to add a little bit more oil. You can add a little bit of ghee as well if you want to it, that's optional. But I just like to use the olive oil, it's just a little bit healthier. And I'm just going to whack the lid back on again. So they're starting to get a little bit translucent now, but we want them a little bit uh, of a caramel sort of colour. So I've blitzed the tomatoes in. I forgot to mention that you can add your chilies in before you blitz. So it's all incorporated in the actual tomatoes. But because the little one doesn't eat chili, we add it afterwards. So I'd probably go ahead and add about three of these to the tomatoes and blitz them. So it's all kind of incorporated or you can add them at the end. And a tip, just stick a candle on in your kitchen because it's gonna stink to high heaven of onions. So we're just waiting for the onions to brown now. I've cut up the chicken, so I've taken off the fat and I've cut them in kind of three pieces. So they're about this size. They're about, I would say, two and a half inches. By, yeah, about two by two inches. Um, and also garlic ginger. I forgot to mention that this is probably the most important, which is gonna give it all the flavor. I freeze mine, so I combine all the garlic ginger. But if you just add in one tablespoon of garlic and one tablespoon of ginger fresh. Okay, as you can see, they're nicely browned. They're a caramel color. You don't want to overdo them, but this is the perfect color. I'm just going to whack in the garlic ginger. Obviously, this is frozen, so it doesn't matter because the tomatoes are going to take about seven minutes to cook anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my tomatoes. Give it a good mix. And this was the whole tin of tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. And then we're going to go in with our spices. So we are going to add, I'm going to go in with garam masala. So this is going to be two and I'm going to go in with three. Three teaspoons of garam masala. I'm going to do two teaspoons of salt and I'm going to go in with half a teaspoon of turmeric. The way I kind of work out my quantities and the general rule is for every pound of meat, so two k, so one kg is two pounds, you would add in one teaspoon of masala for every pound of meat. So one kg is two pounds, so that's normally I add a little bit more masala so I go in with three but the salt you would add in one teaspoon per pound um, and I mean two teaspoons of masala would have been fine but I just like to add a little bit extra uh, just to give it a little bit more flavor so now I'm going to put the lid on this has got to cook for six minutes and you know that this is going to be ready when the oil starts to seep from around the outside and you'll see the oil layer around the outside of the tomatoes so we'll come back in six or seven minutes and once in between after three minutes just give it a little stir 
And whilst the tomatoes are cooking, I've just chopped up one potato. This is optional, but we like to add potato to our curry. So just one potato is plenty. And I've just cut them into kind of small pieces. Okay, this has been about six minutes now. I've stirred it once in between. And can you see, well, I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of steam. The oil should be on top of the onions and around the sides. So give it a little mix. And now we're ready to go in with the chicken. So I'm gonna whack in the chicken now. And just give it a good mix. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to this. So just about half a cup or so. And just give it a mix and then we're gonna whack the lid on now. And once the chicken's almost cooked, this usually takes about 25 minutes. In about 20 minutes or so, I'm gonna add in the potato and then we'll just finish it off with some coriander. And just remember you're cooking this on a low heat. So the chicken is almost cooked now and I'm gonna add in the potatoes. If you find that it's really dry and there's not much of a kind of a sauce or gravy, add in a little bit more water. But this is kind of how you want it. A little bit thick, but don't be afraid to add in a little bit more water if you need to. I'm gonna go in with the potatoes. These are gonna take a little bit of time to cook and then we're just gonna garnish it with some coriander. Okay, so I've just turned that off. The potatoes are cooked, the chicken's cooked. I'm just gonna garnish it with some coriander and you can enjoy with some naan or some rice.